medalist a couple of years ago and she'll be wanting to bring that experience to this match. So second bronze medal about to be won by one of these two women. Kolomidova of Russia against Skora of the Ukraine. The Ukrainian on the left hand side of the screen in white. Well, they came starting strong with the first attack. Kolomidova had four previous matches. Her opponent, Skoda, had only three. But you can't really judge by the number of matches because some of these matches could last very long. We're operating a golden score at this uh, Universiad. I saw at least a couple of matches go to two minutes in golden score. Look at that transition there. And scored a score at first Vazari with an Ochigari major in a reap. Advantage scorer and Wazari up and uh, three minutes. 12 still on the clock. Oh, the Russian knows she's got to come up with something. She went to grab that lapel but didn't quite get hold of it properly, did she, the, the Ukrainian? No, she didn't. But she's not resting on her advantage. She really wants to finish this match by the way she's fighting. Got to keep the hair out of the way. Yeah, that's the rule they have about the hair. They have to kind of keep it above the head. Well, the ponytail's come undone again. It should be given time to sort it out once again. And it's a penalty to the Russian. Well, the Russian is more passive at this point, and uh, that's why she, pick, she picked up this first penalty. You can see Skura is really taking the fight to her opponent. See that big Koshiguruma hip wheel attempt from Skura. The Russian just managed to wheel out of it, didn't she? Yes. Got flexible hips. It really helps to avoid being thrown. Some of these players are so agile. Well, there's a, a training area uh, adjacent to this hall, and um, I was walking through there earlier on, and uh, they were doing some stretching exercises, some of these athletes. Oh, the Ukrainian was on the attack. And uh, I, I, was, I was staggered by some of the positions they managed to get themselves into. <laughs> I believe you. Especially some of these women, they're very flexible. And you can see Skura is really trying to throw her opponent with a hip throw. And uh, her opponent manages to escape each time. Now the Russian's going to have to pull something out of the hat. She's only got a minute and a half. Uh, she's a penalty down and a Wazari down. And the coach is giving advice on what to do in the last minute and a half here. So Skoda is attacking so much that Golomidova doesn't really have much chance to set up her own attack at this point. And that's why she gets a second penalty for passivity. Oh, 
can see Golinidova attempting a good Uchimata in the dying throw. But they go out of bounds. You can't purposely run out of bounds, of course. That's right. Pick you up a penalty. In fact, sometimes the best way to react when you feel like you're being pushed out of bounds is to launch an attack. Because if you do an attack and you go out of bounds, then it's not a penalty. Oh, oh, something's going to happen. Oh, oh big Uchimata for Golimidova. And she has just taken the match against the run of play. There was an extra spurt of energy from the Russian in the last sort of 60 seconds and it paid off with an Ippon to Natalia Golomidova the 24 year old Russian takes the bronze medal here in Naples talk about turning the tide last second well I couldn't understand what the coach was shouting at her in Russian, but whatever it was, she took that advice and it worked. And the Ukrainian will be very disappointed by that. She made all of the running for the earlier stages of the match. That's true. She was really trying to finish this match with a technical score, even though she had advantage of Wazari. She's put in so many attacks in the highlight. And you could argue that maybe maybe uh, she should have held back she should have defended it rather than gone on, on on the attack so much it could be you know and in fact she got countered when she got close to her russian opponent and that's when her opponent did a really nice uchimata So two more medals for the Koreans and the Russians.